Warning. I chain smoke and I say fuck a lot. But I accept myself for the way I am. I accept you too. Viewer discretion advised. This is something that's quite hard to put in words, but I feel like it's very important and fundamental. We have to realize there are no things in the physical universe. No separate things. Because if I ask you, what is a thing? Fundamentally, it comes down to being a noun, a part of language, not something in the physical universe. For instance, this is a hand. That's what we call it. Is this a hand? Hand is a noise, a noise I make with my vocal cords. This is not the noise hand, this is a this. It's something in the physical universe, it has no name. The physical world that we all wander around in is wiggly. It's all changing, all in flux, nothing stands still. So what do you do when you want to catch a wiggle? What do you do when you want to catch a fish? You use a net. And in this net, you have this piece of the physical universe where you can label it. Count one, two, three, four holes this way, two holes down. We'll call this bit of fish that. And then we'll go up two more over, two more down. That part is a that. And we name each part and chop it up into bits and divide it and label it and chop it up into more bits and subdivide it. But the fish doesn't come in bits. The physical universe doesn't come in things. We name everything in order to talk about it, in order to control it, organize it, and divide it. Divide and conquer, right? I mean, evidently people are still falling for this. So what it comes down to is you. What are you? You are not your name. You're not what you've been told you are. You're not what you thought you were. What are you? Who are you? You have to go inside and ask and look and try to find who you are or what you are. We take a shitload of non-existent boxes and we start labeling them in order to organize, divide, and classify animals, minerals, vegetables. Remember that game? And then we take all the living things that we consider living, put them in the animal box. And then we take all the crystals, gold, all that shit, we put it in the mineral box. And then we put a bunch of fucking everything that grows from a garden or the earth into a vegetable box. And then the process spreads into smaller boxes and subsidiaries of the original box that just keeps going. And the, and the more we keep doing that, the less we're going to remember. Everything is one, but we dismember it. We chop it up and we create boxes and chop it up more and we dismember it more. Well, everything that exists has a polar opposite. What's the opposite of dismember? remember so right now we're trying to remember that everything is one to take it out of these boxes that really don't exist anyway and remember it's all one think back think back to when you were babies before they started telling you who you were what you were before a name was assigned to you and signed on the line that's not you you know that's not you go back inside find out You are something that grows out of the spaceship, spaceship Earth. She nourishes, she provides. A human being is not much different than any plant or living thing on this planet. And if left to its own devices and not blocked, it will bloom thrive and if you have a garden and you harvest the vegetables and you have a baby and you cut the umbilical cord there really is no difference it's just the perspective we grow out of this physical universe in the same way as a plant we had to learn how to communicate so language is a very useful tool but it also invokes images and icons, which can be a form of blocking. A form 
of hypnotization, mesmerized by the images, the symbols, the signs, and we take that for reality, and we lose touch with reality, because reality is not the symbol, it's the nameless. You are not your name. You are not your birth certificate. You are not your straw man. You are the manifestation. You are the co-creator of your experience. Your inside and out. You are the whole universe focused at a pinpoint called I of awareness not separate from anything else. You are your experience. And the way you see it is the way it is. Because there is no set way it is. It's all in the way you look at it. So there are myriads of ways to look at it. So what do you choose? There's no reason to worry. Because it's all going to work out. Because it never ends. So don't worry. Let go of the fear. Take your power back. The fear does not exist. When you realize that, the illusion crumbles. We have been spellbound, literally. The spell has been cast, like the net has been cast. And we all fall asleep. But it's time for us to wake up. We put the symbol first. The flag. A symbol of freedom. But there's no freedom. They say, look over here, look at this flag, while we piss on everything it stands for. We mistake the states, the names, for what there actually is, the territory. We separate it, we divide it, we name it, we classify it, but that's not reality. Reality is the influx, wiggly nameless and that is you that's everything we wrap a net around the world we control the wiggly we measure it we navigate it we net the sky we draw images and we navigate it we mistake money an idea that we use for wealth. What's real wealth? Your time. And you've been tricked. Wasting time. Doing things you don't like doing. Just to make this thing called money. Just to get by. You've been lied to. Fucking stoned.